guys, this is Lane Vid. A few weeks ago, we did a science experiment on how to make a homemade mosquito trap. I've been tracking it on the daily vlog channel, so let's see how we did. It's been sitting here for about two days now, two or three days now, and let's see if we've caught anything yet. It hasn't been raining or anything, so I don't know if there's many mosquitoes around. Okay, there's one right there. <laughs> All right, there's another one, a little black dot. I thought that there would be a lot more in there. They said that the solution is good though for up to two weeks. So we have a little bit of time here and I'm gonna come and check on it every day and we can see if any more mosquitoes get caught in here. But right now, I, I don't see much in there. Kinda looks bare. All right guys, since there wasn't much activity the past couple of days with this uh, fly trap, mosquito trap, we decided to bring it down to the ground. We have it on the ground here. Just See if maybe being at a lower elevation that the mosquitoes might uh, be more apt to going inside of it. So uh, we'll come back and we'll check it tomorrow and see if that makes a difference or not. It rained last night so hopefully I think that should have attracted some mosquitoes. Did we catch any mosquitoes pumpkin? I can't tell if that's mosquitoes or if that's just like tree particles. Do you think that's mosquitoes in there? Yes. Yeah that's mosquitoes? Yeah. Huh. Maybe we'll let a few more days go by and see what happens. Yeah. Hey guys, it rained today. And so we have our mosquito trap still sitting out here in the middle of the yard. It probably collected more water. Let's check it out. Let's see if there's any more mosquitoes in here. Huh, definitely got some dirt coming in the bottom there. I don't know what's going on down there. It's so hard to tell because there's black stuff and there's green stuff and there's tree limbs and debris and all kind of mess. I honestly can't tell if it's working. I don't know. Uh, so far, this experiment is not really working all that great. Let's leave it out here for another couple days, I guess. Oh, it's full of water. It rained so much, the water came all the way up into there. I guess we should change it. Oh, look, that's a dead bug. It just fell. Seems to be some flies or something in there. Whenever you search mosquito traps, it shows like this whole this whole container just filled black with dead mosquitoes. And I mean, this has like a couple and it looks like the mosquitoes flew in and then they drowned and that's about it. So I don't know. I, I really don't know if this thing works. I'm gonna go get some more water and some more yeast and we're gonna change this out and see if that makes a difference. Up station. And let's get the yeast. I got me some more brown sugar mix here. We're gonna dump that in. Let's get our yeast. Does it smell? Nope. <laughs> Y'all remember that part? That was one of my favorite parts. And we're gonna put a little bit of yeast in there. I really haven't been putting this tight lately. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know if the black's doing much for it, but I figured and send the instructions, we'll do it. Try number two, I guess, and we'll see what happens. Granted, the grass is longer now, and it has been raining a lot. Last week or so, it wasn't raining much. So maybe uh, that may attract the mosquito. You wanna check the mosquito trap? Okay, let's go check it. Is there anything in there? Well, there's bubbles in there, that's a good sign. It means some carbon dioxide is being made. So hopefully that attracts some mosquitoes. Don't seem to be anything new in there, though, from what I can tell. What do you think? Can you say carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, that's right. It's got bubbles in it. It's got bubbles in it? Checking the mosquito trap again. Yeah, there's bubbles in it. Let Daddy pick it up. The bubbles are definitely new. I don't know what I did different this time than I didn't do last time uh, to, that created the bubbles. I don't know. If it's attracting any flies though, I don't see anything. I don't even see anything there. It definitely stinks though. That's faux shiggity show. We'll leave it out there a few more days. Let's go take a look at our mosquito trap because we haven't done that in a couple of days. It's got, well, the bubbles went away, so I guess it's not making any more carbon dioxide. The thing said that it should last for two weeks and this is really lasting for like a few days. So I don't know if this is really working. Oh, and I don't know what all this junk is down here. Um, there's definitely some dead bugs in there. I, know, I don't know if they're actually mosquitoes, but there is something in there. I'm gonna have to call this science experiment a fail. It's not doing what I expected it to do. So I'm gonna say fail. Yeah, I'm gonna say this was a big fat fail. First of all, this thing didn't catch anything. Second of all, it stinks. 
And third, what is some of this crap under here? I have no clue what this is. Let's go to the sink and find out. Let's take this thing apart and see what in the world we caught in this thing. To be honest with you, this thing stinks. I'm kind of scared to, to take it out of here because the stench is overwhelming. Okay. It's just dirty. What is all that? I guess there are some bugs in there, but it's not as many as I expected though. Big bugs in there. Look at that. Look at the size of that one right there. Yeah. So this is what we caught. Looks like there's a leaf in there. There's a few bugs in there, but not a lot. And there's some tree particles in there. So have you guys tried this before? Did y'all follow my previous video and make one? If so, how did it come out? I know a lot of you guys on Facebook told me that you guys wanted to try and make one. And I really am curious to know how yours came out. Did it do better than mine? If so, leave me a comment down below and let me know how yours did. If you want to stay up to date with us and get more videos from us, make sure to click that subscribe button. We definitely appreciate it. And also, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm going to link all those up right down there. Whoa, you can click on them. What? That's awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for being jiggity shank. But we figured there's alcohol coming out the top. Let's try and light it on fire. <laughs> don't try this at home. Don't try this at home. Please don't. We're idiots. <laughs> now you want to light your candle with the magic assistant hands. Blow. Go ahead. Give it a good hard blow. Whoa. Let's see that in super slow-mo.